In this video, I'm going to explain how to create a Pandora bot that has no initial content, and the steps involved in creating a bot which is completely unique and proprietary to you. These are also the same steps that you would follow if you are creating a Pandora bot in a different foreign language. I'm going to use English as an example language here, but basically you can follow the same steps using the language of your choice. So the first thing I'm going to do is log into Pandora Bots. And as we log into Pandora Bots, we encounter the My Pandora Bots page, which is simply a list of all the bots we have created so far in our account. And what I'm going to do is select the option to create a new Pandora Bot. Now, the first thing we need to do when we create a Pandora bot is to give it a name. So I'm going to name this bot Unique. And I'm going to select the option No Initial Content. The Pandora bot starts with no knowledge. And then create the Pandora bot. Here we've got the home page for the Unique bot. And if we look at the AIML, we can see that there's a no AIML content established so far. Now, if we try to talk to our bot, if we say anything to our bot using the training menu, um, the bot will respond, I have no answer for that, which is the default Pandora bot's response when the bot has no content. So the first thing we need to do is create some AIML. On the AIML Pandora Bot's control page, select the option to create a new AIML file. And the Pandora Bot server has created a blank AIML file which includes the XML header information and the AIML start and end tags. It's our job to insert our own AIML categories here. Now, generally speaking, the first category you want to create with any new bot is called the ultimate default category. And I'm going to put that here. The ultimate default category refers to a category which has a pattern of just the wildcard star by itself, meaning that this category will be activated on any input which is not recognized by any more specific pattern. Generally speaking, a good strategy with the ultimate default category is to create a list of randomly selected responses and insert them into the template. So the outline of our category for the ultimate default is going to look like this. Now, when the bot does not recognize what the person or client has said, a good strategy is simply to try to select one of a number of randomly selected lines, which we call pickup lines. And the idea with these pickup lines is to move the conversation back onto something that the bot does know about. So, for example, they could be information gathering questions such as, what is your name? Admissions of lack of knowledge such as, I did not understand what you said. Requests for clarification such as, could you please rephrase that. Or simply non sequiturs. Basically, any type of conversational line that you could insert, which will give the illusion of keeping the conversation flow moving along and entertain the client who's chatting.
after we've created our ultimate default category, let's save this in a file called default.aiml. Pandorabots has signaled an error here because our XML was not well formed, and by examining the code, I can see that I've left off a greater than sign at the end of one of the XML tags. So again, I'll try saving this. And we've now created a ultimate default category for the unique bot. Now let's try talking to the bot in the training section. And you can see when I typed the input hello, the bot selected one of the random pickup lines.